When I had just first started scripting, I always wondered how a professional scripts inside of Roblox. And now that I'm slightly better at scripting, I still wonder that. But now that I know a little bit about scripting, I'm just here to show you guys how I like to script and how I create my own script. So the first thing that I like to do is open up some sort of art program or maybe just grab a piece of paper. For me, I just like using Microsoft Paint and I'm just going to grab a pretty big brush. Now here's where we're going to draw out what you want your script to do. For me, I want to have a big button right here that when the player presses this button, it's going to reveal a word. So let me just write out word right here, and this is going to be a randomized word. And then there are going to be three different buttons, all with different images inside of them, that will have a different word. So maybe this one will be turtle, this one will be spider, and this one will be octopus or something like that. And whatever word this is, let's say it randomly gets picked to be turtle, then you have to try and pick the turtle word as fast as you can. So that would be this one. And you want to be relatively specific here, so I'm just going to write reveal, or as much as I can, so we'll just do rev for short, and of course I am G for image inside of each of these, and you pretty much get the point. So here's the base thing of what I want to happen with my script, each one of these are going to be text buttons and everything cool like that, and then the next thing I do is create a flow chart. So I just like to grab one of these square shapes up here, and just kind of drag out something like this. This will be the starting point. So you can also grab this text button, throw some text right here. This will be start. And then you can grab yourself an arrow and go down a little bit like so. Then you just go back to the square. And then this is where you're going to have maybe the reveal word. And so you get the point. You just basically go down around here. You can create as many of these as you want to. And you just want to fill out your script as simple as you wanted to make it or as complex as you want to make it. And then you pretty much just use this as a guide for while you're scripting. And now you kind of have a guide of what to go off of. You have a visual example of what you want to achieve, which was the drawing that you made. And you have a little flow chart of what you're going to do to get there. So let me make some GUI real quick. That's going to be the GUI that I use for this little reveal word mini game. Alrighty, so I just got done making my UI for the little mini game. I have the reveal word button up here at the top, the word that will be revealed, and then three different buttons right here, but they're all on top of each other because I'm going to do kind of a cool animation whenever you click on reveal the word. So now all I need to do is script it so whenever you click on the reveal word button, it'll choose a random word, probably from some sort of table, and then from there you just need to click on whatever text matches all these different buttons. So let's get to scripting. So this is just a little simple script I made with these little random words right here. Let's go ahead and test it out whenever we go ahead and click the game. Click on reveal word. And that does not seem to be working. So that took way too long to figure out. But in the end, we got a pretty cool result. So when you join the game, you can go ahead and click this top word. It'll randomize all the words. These will slide around. And then you can feel free to go ahead and change the word every single time. Now I'm going to try and make it so that once you click on reveal word, it'll start a timer to where you have to click on a certain button within that certain amount of time. And then depending on that, that's how many coins you can get, which will be pretty cool, I think. So like you click on reveal word, it says octopus. So you have to click on octopus as fast as you can, basically. Okay, so I just got done adding in the little button clicking and everything like that. So let's go ahead and click on play. And inside of the game, now whenever go and click on reveal word, these will pop out. We have the turtle as the word. If I click on turtle, you can see not only does it count, three seconds right here in the output but all the buttons will slide back to the middle this one's going to be spider i got that one in one second that time reveal word let's wait two seconds so octopus that was two seconds right there so as you can see like the longer the player is going to wait the less coins they're going to get basically i can wait five seconds here if i wanted to or that was seven seconds, but that'd be a lot less coins than someone who got like one second, for example. However, I hope that this video was beneficial to you guys. It kind of explains and shows how I like to script and how I go about doing things. So if you enjoyed watching this video so far, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.